So we're going to do a walk around inspection, show you the lights, startup, and a test drive on this very well preserved, beautiful 1986 Nissan 300ZX. You're going to find that this car has been extremely well maintained. And from new, you can tell that the original owner planned on preserving this car the best that they were capable of doing. And we'll show you as we go around to do the inspection, but they did add stone guard, some clear stone guard on the forward facing surfaces of this Nissan. So you'll see this line goes across the front. So there are no stone chips on the front of this car. So the super white, the factory super white paint job is in excellent condition. And this car is in excellent condition overall, as you'll see as we go through the video. But the paint shines extremely well. There's, we'll go around the car, but I'm, I'm trying to remember if there's any defects in the paint. I, I don't remember there being any. And, and a lot of that is due to how well the original owner preserved this car. And this stone chip, which of course, the stone guard, you can, you can have taken off. Um, the paint underneath it should be in excellent, like new condition. So walking around the car, there's, there's a little bit of rubbing or a front license plate probably was on the front bumper here. The front emblem is in excellent condition. And we're getting some cleared off of the trees, but there's no defects to know. The, these look like a BBS wheel. I'm not exactly sure what the manufacturer is, but period correct wheel, and they are all in very good condition. And there is some very slight age or wear on each wheel, but very, very slight. Wrapped in some Yokohama tires. I cannot vouch to the age of those, but they appear to be in very good condition. Uh, this side of the windshield in excellent condition, free of stone chips. And you'll see some more of that stone guard up the pillar here next to the windshield and on the back of the mirrors. So the back of the mirrors would be as new. They even added it on the very front of the rocker molding. And you'll see it at the very back of the rocker molding as well. So they did try to preserve this car and they did a very well, a very good job of preserving this car. So the door, the driver's window, no defects to, to note. The T-tops the are in excellent condition. You'll see the factory original unrestored interior is in excellent condition. And uh, the interior of one of these Nissan Z cars it's hard to find in this condition. Really the only defects to note on the interior is the headliner and the headliners on the T-tops. It's starting to sag a little bit. Other than that, the seats appear almost as new. Even the driver's seat and the driver's seat bolster Excellent come around to the back of the car and no defects in that quarter panel tail lights bumper excellent condition the muffler extensions are in excellent condition the rear spoiler is in excellent condition no warpage it's nice and straight no cracks go into the hatch you find the rear carpet is in excellent condition the car even retains this dash cover that's in like new condition that even covers the steering wheel so when you park the car to keep it from sun fade or sun damage this covers the steering wheel and the dash and it's in excellent condition 
retains both of the factory T-top bags. And you'll see that they're in excellent condition. The inside is extremely white. The spare tire is intact. With the factory Datsun inflator canister. I'll put that back together here in a minute. On the other side in the trunk, you'll find the original jack. And the tire stops. All the tools are still there. Props on the rear still work. And they are Nissan props. So come around the driver's side of the car, you'll see the, the factory Nissan mud flaps are in excellent condition all the way around the car. There again, no dings, no scratches, no chips on the driver's side, driver's side door. Come into the driver's side interior, you'll see it's in the same condition as the passenger side. It's in excellent condition. Still showing as new. The bolster is in excellent condition. The driver's seat, excellent condition. The steering wheel. All the levers still read with little to nowhere. So now we'll pop the hood. Well, we'll find the home for the, be the BG30E factory three liter V6, naturally aspirated backed by the factory automatic transmission. I'll hop in it, start it up for you, and then we'll show you the lights. That was user error. Dad just didn't hold the key long enough. One thing I forgot to mention is it does have lights are on. the talking dash. Lights are on. It'll tell you that your lights are on. I believe it'll tell you when your fuel is low. But now we'll grab the other camera. We'll do a test drive. We're going to go on that test drive in that beautiful, well-maintained 1986 Nissan 300ZX. Absolutely. So this, as we talked about in the video, is one of the best maintained, well-maintained Nissan 300ZX. I, I have ever seen. Absolutely. Um, with the odometer 
just over 50,000, 50,216 miles. The car presents like, like a 10,000 mile Nissan. Yeah, it's, yeah, it kind of seems like an exaggeration, but it's hard to imagine a nicer Nissan than this one. Yeah. Exterior of this car is absolutely excellent. The car throughout is excellent. It, oh, absolutely. I mean, the because of that stone guard that they put on the front, actually on all front-facing surfaces. I mean, the car is without stone chips. Yeah. The car, the exterior shows excellent, and, and it's in its factory correct super white, and it's complemented like that very nice white and red color scheme with the super white exterior, the red cloth interior. And the interior is excellent. It is free of defects. I mean, the only thing is the headliner is a little loose up here, and the same on the T tops. But other than that, I mean, there may be just a touch of wear on the steering wheel. I mean, there's there's very slight wear on both corners of the armrest. But these armrests, you know, they didn't last. This one looks near oh, yeah. And the big thing too on the sort of ZXs is the back covers on the seats. Those likes to separate and delaminate from the cloth and they're both tight right up against the fabric. And all of your stickers are on the fabric too on like your T-tops and they look near mint. The factory T-top bags look like they've never been used. They're yeah. brilliant white on the interior of them. But yeah, so the condition we could go on oh, yeah. and on about how excellent this car has been maintained and well on top of that it's just an excellent like option wise it's loaded i think about the only option that this car does not have is the adjustable suspension and the turbo so it's got the automatic with the overdrive it's got the superior right, and i like the z covers that i handle excellent but it's got the upgraded AM FM stereo with the equalizer and just everything in this car is just so quintessential 80s. It's yeah. awesome. Power antenna, it's got the digital readout, automatic climate control. Which works. The digital compass, the digital G meter, of course the digital dash, the talking dash, um, the steering wheel controls and everything works. Yeah, the talking dash is kind of cool. It tells you that the door's open while you're in gear. Uh, it tells you when your lights are on and your key is off. And when you get your fuel low enough, it'll tell you that you need to fill up the car. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. It's all tied into the radio. And it, it, it drives and handles like a low mile Nissan ship. Yeah, I mean, it runs. I mean, it's silky smooth. The transmission shifts very well. Yeah, there is, I don't know, maybe you mentioned already, there's a little bit of air noise. I have just the slightest amount. That's kind of weird, but kind of typical with T-top cars. But the seals look like they're in excellent condition, but there is just a little, little bit of wind noise. But the car handles extremely well, 60, 70 miles per hour of this car. Tends to the corners just like it should. Yeah. yeah. I mean, for an 80s sports car, the car's been extremely well maintained. It's definitely collector quality. It's documented well. We have the original window sticker. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's just an awesome example of a 300ZX. It's definitely one of the, I mean, it's definitely show quality. You can take this to any show and be okay. And I would absolutely even take it to like a Radwood event. I mean, this car would show awesome at a period of event like that. And still be one of the nicest, if not the nicest 300ZX there. Yeah. And this generation 300 is just really starting to come into its own. So Absolutely. there's still a very affordable collector Absolutely. You know, vehicle. And you can still get the top of the market without breaking the bank. Absolutely. And this definitely is one of the, the top of the market examples. caliber yeah, example of these 300 ZXs. Absolutely. Excellent car. Yeah, if you're looking for a Nissan 300 ZX, I mean, I just, 
is the epitome of kind of what these cars like the poster car for these cars i mean all the electronic options the power lumbar i mean that digital dash you just want something that's going to take you back to the mid 80s and just you're going to feel like you are and this car's going to run and drive right just take you just right back there i mean it, yeah this is the car that you need to take a really close look at definitely above it i mean it, yeah it's a rock solid car yeah so if you're in the market check this car out absolutely look at the bottom pictures top pictures the videos you can check this car out rock solid motorsports